Unveiling the Cosmos, James Webb Telescope, triumphantly validates Stephen Hawking's dark matter hypothesis. In a resounding declaration that resonates through the annals of astrophysics, the James Webb Telescope has emerged as the veritable torchbearer of cosmic discovery. With its awe-inspiring capabilities and unwavering pursuit of truth, this technological marvel has propelled us into a new epoch of understanding, culminating in the resounding validation of none other than Stephen Hawking's enigmatic theory of dark matter. The James Webb Space Telescope is poised to illuminate the mystery surrounding dark matter. The search for dark matter might also uncover the existence of the coldest black holes in the universe. Let's delve into this swiftly. As per a recent study, revisiting an old notion that has resurfaced suggests that dark matter could potentially consist of ancient black holes. Over the coming year, observations conducted by NASA's newly operational James Webb Space Telescope could provide clues about the prevalence of black holes in the early cosmos. These findings might offer insights into the gravitational impacts attributed to dark matter. The term weakly interacting massive particles refers to hypothetical particles with significant mass, sluggish movement and considerable weight. These particles are proposed in various particle physics models to elucidate the concept of dark matter. They are believed to exert a gravitational pull on regular matter. However, Benjamin Lehman, a physicist and PhD candidate at the University of Santa Cruz specialising in dark matter and particle physics, but not directly involved in the study, notes that recent experimental results have challenged this explanation. Lehman's perspective highlights a growing discrepancy with recent experimental outcomes. Consequently, the community of particle physicists is eager to explore alternative theories for dark matter, re-evaluating older concepts within the framework of new models. Back in the early 1970s, Stephen Hawking boldly predicted that minuscule fluctuations in the intensely hot and compact early universe could have given rise to its initial black holes. These primordial black holes are thought to have formed due to slight irregularities in the moments immediately following the Big Bang. The vast structure of the universe is a consequence of these minute variations. The creation of these black holes relies on a fundamental premise. The Big Bang was the catalyst for the universe's birth. According to this notion, regions of these fluctuations would eventually reach a critical density poised to transform into black holes. However, the immense heat surrounding them would impede instant collapse. Gunter Hastinger, a specialist in X-ray astronomy, director of science at the European Space Agency and the author of the upcoming astrophysical journal study, emphasizes that the particles were too hot and energetic to condense into black holes until the universe had expanded and cooled sufficiently. Findings The findings of this comprehensive study will soon be published. Hassinger clarifies that this collapse into black holes would not transpire until elementary particles called quarks could amalgamate into protons. This process would have commenced when the universe was just a fraction of a second old. Nico Capilouti, an astrophysicist at the University of Miami and the lead researcher on the project, reveals that the central aim was to ascertain if the cosmological theory of primordial black holes could plausibly explain the formation of the present-day universe. Their hypothesis suggests that a universe where primordial black holes act as dark matter might have characteristics akin to our own. Lehman asserts that the existence of primordial black holes and dark matter isn't inherently contradictory. These black holes have been proposed as a potential type of dark matter. He finds it remarkable how numerous scientific hypotheses can be explored using this single model. The research methodology employed in the study is thorough. The model created by the team predicts that stars began to form approximately 50 million years after the Big Bang, a much earlier timeline compared to the mainstream model's forecast of 300 million years. Capilouti speculates that by scrutinising the remote and ancient regions of the universe, scientists might resolve this inconsistency. The James Webb Telescope, designed to examine signals from over 13.5 billion years ago, holds the promise of bridging the gap between Hawking's decades-old theory and the concept of dark matter. Hassinger points out that physicists lacked a true sense of scale when Hawking initially proposed primordial black holes. They initially assumed those newly formed black holes would be relatively small, 
leading to years of searching for the gamma rays generated by such black holes. Failed to locate. When researchers failed to locate them, most experts set aside the idea for many years. It wasn't until later that scientists realized primordial black holes could come in a wide range of sizes, including much heavier ones. Hassinger states that support for the notion of primordial black holes grew after the initial detections of gravitational waves. These detections showed that black holes were more massive than previously thought. Even with the most advanced telescopes available today, Capaludi notes that there remains a significant gap in our understanding of the early universe. Astronomers have only managed to reconstruct the past 13 billion years of cosmic history, even though the universe is around 14 billion years old. Missing Billion Years The missing billion years hold numerous unresolved mysteries, such as the origin of immensely massive black holes with masses billions of times that of the Sun. Given the current state of physics knowledge, explaining the formation of these supermassive black holes is quite challenging. Hassinger is confident that the James Webb Telescope will identify stars if they exist within the deep field, a dark region of space. This is the same region where the Hubble Space Telescope discovered some of the oldest galaxies ever observed. This potential discovery might occur a few months into the observatory's operations. Capaludi explains that James Webb has the potential to unveil a distant era of history. If proto-galaxies were more prevalent than expected, their quantity and characteristics could shed light on the existence of primordial black holes. However, Capaludi suggests that a future observation of gravitational waves from a primordial black hole might be the definitive evidence. Lehman finds the possibility of James Webb testing the author's model intriguing. However, he believes this won't entirely settle the question of whether dark matter is composed of primordial black holes. Heisinger notes that scientists often aim not to prove their hypotheses correct, but to challenge them. The more unsuccessful attempts to disprove a hypothesis, the more credible it becomes. If an idea cannot be disproven, it persists until subsequent trials and discoveries. The forthcoming findings could mark a significant milestone in the search for primordial black holes, regardless of whether the team's theory is validated or debunked. Hassinger emphasizes that trouble could arise if scientists scrutinize the deepest web observations and find no deviation from the standard model. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Share your thoughts on this new perspective of the dark matter theory in the comments, all thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. If you've enjoyed insights in this video, we'd greatly appreciate your support. Be sure to show your appreciation by hitting the thumbs up button and joining our community of engaged viewers. By subscribing to our channel, you'll be in the front row for all our upcoming content, ensuring you never miss a moment of the exciting discoveries and discussions that lie ahead.